I looked at tape after tape. We shot in two sections in Dodger Stadium. There's 56,000 people at this game. How could you possibly be on camera? I wasn't supposed to be at that game. I need to place my client at Dodger Stadium on that night. And right there, that last shot was the moment in long shot that my jaw literally hit the floor. The story didn't end there, though. It took continued hard work, perseverance to clear, clear Juan Catalan. He was an innocent man accused of murder. The person leading the charge was his lawyer, Todd Melnick. Todd, Todd joining me now all the way from California. Todd, good morning to you. How are you? Good morning, Dan. How are you? Doing well. This was a fascinating documentary. For those who are not familiar, you went to the end of the earth to find a video clip of Juan Catalan, who was charged with murder and was at a Dodger game. What was it like to be part of this incredible, incredible documentary? Well, being part of the documentary was incredible, but being in the case itself was highly stressful because the government basically was trying to kill Juan Catalan for something he didn't do. And so there was nothing that I was not going to do to try to prevent that. And that's what really led the charge in this case. And I just want people at home, again, who didn't see it to understand, you went and looked at every piece of video, literally security video, from Dodger Stadium. And it wasn't until Juan said, well, there were people with H that they were filming something else, HBO. How did that lead you to curb your enthusiasm? Well, what happened was Fox TV had, you know, broadcast the game. So I had to go through every frame that they showed of every scene of the of the crowd in order to see if I could find one. And I did, because I knew where he was sitting, but the uh, resolution wasn't high enough for me to figure out, you know, that that was him, um, or for the, you know, the court to know that that was him. So uh, Juan had said that maybe they were filming something that there that day. He had never seen that kind of thing happen. And I went to Dodger Stadium. We looked through the media uh, book where they actually filmed commercials and things like that. Yeah. Flipped through the pages. And then there was the number for HBO, and then that led me to them, and they thought I was absolutely nuts and crazy. <laughs> they could have, you know, Juan would have been on there, you yeah. know, caught in the frames. You know, that was time consuming. And this question came up during our conversation with our viewers at home, because we have this, this documentary club, and they were asking, how is Juan able to afford your time to do this? Because the settlement didn't come for much until much later. Why were you so invested in this case, and did you do it pro bono? Well, it ended up being pro bono. Um, you know, his brother uh, was charged with another murder, totally unrelated. Um, and the family spent nearly all their money on that lawyer for him when he had been arrested, you know, six months earlier. And so and the family really, really didn't have much money. So I charged them really a minor fee. And I ended up giving it back to him at the end because, you know, he was in custody for six months and didn't have money to support himself and his family. And uh, so I give it back to him. It's but, you know, unbelievable it's what, what you did to get him off. But not everyone is going to be so supportive. And not every lawyer is going to be as determined as you, right? And so that's what came up in this conversation. What is your advice for someone currently fighting for their own innocence? They've gone from lawyer to lawyer, and they just don't have that passion like you do. You know, I don't know how to answer that, really, because... You have to get a good working relationship with your lawyer that's passionate and, you know, is going to fight for you. Um, from what I understand, I just thought I was doing my job the way I should do my job. And apparently it was well above and beyond, but it's what I do and always do. So yeah. you're going to have to find the right lawyer that's really going to dig yeah, to, you know, prove your innocence. We're almost out of time here, but this was such a debate that we had within our club, and it gives us an inside look at our criminal justice system. The question came up debating whether or not the system's broken or if it's designed, it's doing exactly what it's designed to do, right? Inherently flawed to begin with. Your thoughts? Oh, it's the best system that we have, honestly, but it's still flawed. Everybody has their biases. Judges have their biases. I was up against a very, very difficult judge that was very pro-prosecution. Um, you just got to fight and fight and fight. Yeah. Um, and sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. I do want to point out to your viewers, though, um, you know, Juan kind of got shemped in the whole system um, and with the, the documentary and getting paid. There's a GoFundMe for Juan Catalan. Yeah. If anybody yeah. wants to uh, to do that, that would be great. It is. It, yeah, and I was going to ask you exactly how Juan is doing. I understood, understand that you had lunch with Juan yesterday. Yeah, we, we are best of friends. We go to Laker games. We go to Dodger games. Uh, we're really tight. He's just, he's a great guy. 
and uh, we have a very good relationship. And yes, we did have lunch yesterday. Which got me, you know, just to wrap up here and put a button on this with what you had lunch, you know, because we really go to details here. Juan and you had pastrami, and I understand you said it was better in L.A. than New York City. Where? Yeah, you know, we come, when we went to the Emmys in New York, we went to Cat's Deli. Cats. And we tried their pastrami sandwich. Yeah, we tried their pastrami sandwich, and we compared it to the one that we love here. And, yeah, I'm sorry, but. What's the name <laughs> of the like place the in L.A.? It's called Langer's Deli. It's it's been around for you know probably 80 years. Okay, all right. We'll send you some cats. You send us some Langer's. We'll have we'll continue this conversation. <laughs> hey, thank you for what you're doing. The the documentary is incredible. Your efforts and what you did to help Juan was absolutely incredible and admirable. Lawyers should learn from you. Thank you so much, Todd. Thank you, Dan. All right, guys. If you haven't seen it, highly highly recommend you watch. That's phenomenal. Because a lot of lawyers.